The U.S. Geological Survey says drinking water from roughly half of all faucets nationwide likely contain PFAS, also known as forever chemicals. These chemicals were built to last forever, but our team refused to accept that. They're called PFAS, toxic forever chemicals used in thousands of products. Now they're everywhere, even in our blood, and linked to serious health problems. But in North Carolina, Invicta Water's breakthrough changes how the world will clean water. It was probably you know, 2018, 2019 when we really started investigating, can we destroy PFAS? The contamination levels of PFAS that have been defined as toxic or harmful to humans is very, very low. It's on the parts per trillion level. If you took a sugar packet, which is roughly one gram, and you dissolve that evenly in 250 million liters of water, you're at the parts per trillion level. So the first problem with PFAS is, how do you find it? If I have 250 million liters of water and only one gram and it's spread out evenly, that's a challenge on itself. The second part is if I find it, how do I grab it? How do I pull it out of the water? And then the third piece of the puzzle is how do I destroy it? When we first started to do our experimentation with PFOS, we started at the very end. We started with the destruction. We wanted to find a way to completely remove these chemicals from the water table, from that environmental cycle, so that they're completely gone from the environment. Before Invicta, founders Steve and Jason created the patented nanobarb nanoscopic boron nitride tubes with crystal barbs grown along their surface like rock candy. These barbs create massive surface area, locking onto PFAS so it can be removed. There's about one and a half to two football fields worth of surface area inside this vial. And when we agitate that, these crystals will collide with the PFAS molecules, the PFAS compounds. They will adsorb or stick to the surface of the crystals, and that's the critical first step in the destruction process. With nanobarb technology, they could finally pinpoint the PFAS. Then came the excitation sequence, charging the nanobarbs so electrons burst free, reacting with the water to fracture the PFAS bonds instantly. The first trials, a circle of UV lights around a beaker on an agitator and watching the nanobarbs go to work. Breaking the PFAS bond leaves only a trace of carbon and fluorine ions. Carbon becomes CO2, carbon dioxide, and with calcium added, the fluorine ions form calcium fluoride instead of hydrogen fluoride. What's left? Just a few breaths of CO2 per million gallons and fluorine ions locked away as a harmless solid. No waste to manage or haul away. We figured out the destruction end, but then we had to take time to figure out, well, how do we grab it? How do we find it? How do we remove it? And the way that we do that is we have evolved and innovated upon foam fractionation technology. It's the mixing of air and water. And this is the water that's flowing from whatever sources that's coming into that municipal or that water plant where we're trying to clean it. PFAS is unique. One end of the molecule is hydrophilic, drawn to water, while the other is hydrophobic, avoiding it. When air moves through, that split nature causes the hydrophobic end to stick to the bubble, carrying PFAS to the surface, where it's captured in a concentrated foam and separated from the continuous flow of water. So you can look at it and say, oh, wow, Foam fractionation does a very good job of removing the PFAS, but we said, oh, it also does a good job of concentrating. So you can continue the concentration activity down to a manageable level of water for the photocatalytic destruction process. From there, the Invicta Pure system was born. The world's first and only complete PFAS destruction solution. It can be built to fit any site or scale. Smaller systems, from a few hundred gallons a day up to millions, fit in a footprint as small as a shipping container. Larger systems scale with flow, reaching hundreds of millions of gallons a day or more. But the core technology remains the same. Legacy systems, like carbon, ion exchange, and reverse osmosis, only capture PFAS, leaving behind toxic waste that must be hauled, buried, or burned sending PFAS right back into the environment 
whether into the air or back into the water table. Invicta Pure is different. It destroys PFAS completely with a single inline system, all while operating at ambient pressures and temperatures with no waste to manage. At its core are three phases, lift, lock, and break. In the lift phase, air pulls PFAS out of the water column, separating it from clean water. The clean water exits the system, while contaminants move forward to the next phase. In the lock phase, those contaminants are concentrated into a fraction of their original volume, shrinking millions of gallons of polluted water to just a few, making destruction practical and efficient. Finally, in the break phase, proprietary nanobarbs bind to PFAS molecules, and when activated by UV light, sever their bonds at the atomic level, destroying them permanently. The result is simple. Contaminated water in, clean PFAS-free water out. And it's built for the real world. Low cost, plug and play, with no waste to haul away, little to no maintenance, and American-made, off-the-shelf components that keep supply chains simple. With its compact footprint and modular scalability, Invicta Pure can be deployed in weeks, not years. And this isn't just theoretical. Multiple systems are already running in communities today. The town of Cary, it's a, it's a community outside of Raleigh, North Carolina. It has 250,000 people in the community. They run 30 million gallons or more per day. It pulls the water from a man-made lake, which does have some PFAS in it. So what we are doing is we are showing that we can pull water directly from the lake, we can remove and we can destroy the PFAS. Um, this is a six-month pilot. We're about halfway through. Um, we've had some phenomenal results so far. And obviously, you know, as we get further along, we'll begin discussions with the town of Cary to hopefully um, have a full implementation of our technology that would clean the water for the entire community. For months, the Invicta Pure system has run quietly in the background, capturing, concentrating, and destroying PFAS. But proving it doesn't stop at internal results. The real test comes through independent third-party analysis. My name is Lindsay Boone. I'm an analytical chemist. I work as a PFAS technical specialist with Pace Analytical Laboratories, the largest American-owned environmental laboratory testing network, and we also have a life sciences division. I specialize in liquid chromatography, and PFAS is ran on chromatography tandem mass spec instrument. So it was an easy transition to get into the environmental testing network and then to primarily focus on PFAS, which is what I've been doing for the last 10 years. Having a third party validator like my laboratory is extremely important, not only for your confidence in the data, but for also other end users as well as the public. And that's where a laboratory like ours comes into play that is accredited by different state agencies as well as the Department of Defense. Now Invicta is not doing this testing for compliance purposes. So we've looked at our full analytical toolbox and made the decision that the best method to utilize is our method that uses a smaller sample volume than some of the EPA methods. It has a longer list of compounds, 44 compounds that range from the longer PFAS to those shorter chain C3s. So we're able to look at a wide array of the PFAS compounds when it comes to removal and destruction technology. I have one of Invicta's laboratory reports here. We've got influent and effluent, so pre and post treatment. Now, when we look at the results, in the influent, we've got part per trillion level above our reporting limit of both PFOA and PFOS. When we look at the effluent, those compounds are not present. So if we're focusing on those two compounds, which you know are, are the heavy hitters, right? The legacy PFAS, those known carcinogens, we can see that they were removed or destroyed from influent to effluent. These independent tests don't just prove removal they prove elimination. That makes this breakthrough rare. Not another filter, but a finish line. Invicta Pure combines removal and destruction in a single inline system, collapsing expenses with it, 
Just clean water, delivered for less. Because when waste disappears, so do the costs. We get the response a lot. This sounds too good to be true. The difference between an Invictus system and the other technologies that are out there from a CapEx and an annual cost basis and an annual activities basis is something that it actually takes a few conversations for them to believe it. What we can share with you is that we've got a solution that is somewhere around 70% less the cost of what you've probably been quoted by other solutions. The other technologies, they are, by their nature and their deployment, significantly more expensive, 2x, 3x or more than what we can do at Invicta. Our system installs fast, it runs lean, and it pays off long term. We can turn a quote around for you very quickly, and it's going to be much less costly than what you have in mind. It's going to fully destroy PFAS without having to have your operators solve a whole lot of other inventory management problems and do it in a way that permanently solves the problem. You don't have to worry about future regulations. That's the magic of what we can provide. The science is proven and the financial case is clear. Invicta Pure delivers permanent PFAS destruction at a fraction of the cost. But the greater risk lies in doing nothing Inaction leaves communities exposed and families to pay the price. For Steve, that price became deeply personal, and it fuels the work Invicta is doing today. My sister Michelle, she was married to a Marine, and they lived on air stations across the Southeast. I believe it was in 2017, she was diagnosed with breast cancer. At the beginning, it seemed like she was doing very well with her treatments, and then I think it was you know, late in September, of 2022 when you know they found out the cancer was back the doctors had told her that they don't exactly understand what's going on and then that's where the idea of an environmental exposure came up there's only about four or five of these compounds that have been studied and there's thousands of them so of the four or five that they've studied they are beginning to see a direct correlation to health issues like cancer um, developmental issues endocrine issues uh, they're starting to you know understand that there are many things that it may not cause directly, but it can complicate. It may not cause your cancer, but it might complicate it. it. It might accelerate it. It might do things that they just don't understand. They started to ask her questions. You know, where did you live? Were you exposed to these chemicals? And then ultimately when she passed away in January, 2023, that's when, you know, this became a very personal journey. It was, you know, not only do we have an opportunity to completely eradicate these chemicals from the environment, it became the right thing to do. And it became our focus. We began with the breakthrough destroying PFAS at the bond. Then we solved the next challenge, how to locate it and how to collect it. From there, Invicta Pure emerged, the first and only complete inline system to lift, lock, and break forever chemicals, capturing, concentrating, and destroying them for good. We've proven it at scale in communities like Cary, North Carolina, where third-party independent testing confirmed not just removal, but total elimination setting a new standard for water treatment. Invicta Pure isn't a filter, it's a finish line. A small footprint system that integrates anywhere and scales to any size or flow. Unlike other systems that only manage the problem, Invicta Pure eliminates PFAS completely, delivering at 70% less cost than legacy systems. Scalable, low maintenance, American made, operating at ambient pressures and temperatures, with no complex supply chains and no toxic waste to haul, bury, or burn. And this doesn't stop with drinking water. Wastewater, industry, defense, everywhere these chemicals exist, Invicta Pure will end them, safeguarding not only people, but the wildlife and ecosystems that depend on clean water. And while regulations aim for acceptable limits, Invicta delivers what truly matters, zero no detectable PFAS. For Invicta Water and for families like Steve's, that mission is more than business. It's personal. The science is proven. The financial case is undeniable. The human cost is too high to ignore. The time to act is now. Forever ends here. And the answer is Invicta Water.